One Bay Area family has created a space that is the opposite of scary, though. It's a not-so-spooky <laughs> Halloween, and it's designed for kids with special needs. Our own NBC Bay Area's Jody Hernandez oh, is on trick-or-treat duty in Martinez. I was expecting a costume, <laughs> Jody. What is going on here? I know. You know, well, I've got my uh, little necklace, and I do have my skeleton earrings on. Okay, I'm going to give we you a pass. We are here in Martinez where houses... <laughs> We're here in Martinez where houses are decked out, ready for the trick-or-treaters. Of course, spooky is the theme of the night. And as you can see, this house definitely hits that mark. But for kids with special needs, a house like this could be a little too much to handle. Well, tonight, a Vacaville family has created a not-so-spooky setting for special needs children. Our kids can come here and have an amazing time. My son loves it. Six-year-old Oliver is buzzing around, fully enjoying Halloween. The first grader is on the autism spectrum and doesn't talk, but he's in a safe and happy Halloween space made just for children like him. Well, these days, people get teased, people get bullied just for how they are, how they look, how they act. So we wanted to create a night where it was all them and doesn't matter how they behave out here because it's safe. Maria and Abe Jackson and their family are hosting a not-so-spooky Halloween. They've turned their Vacaville garage into a happy haunted house filled with cartoon characters and upbeat themes for children with special needs. It's a place where they can feel safe and just be themselves. The parents come out, they're not stressed out. They know they're in a safe place. They're with people that can relate to their situation. If the kids have meltdowns, they can have their meltdowns. No one's going to sit here and judge. Autism advocates say more people need to show the same kind of compassion. It's really important for our kids just to be out in the world and inclusive so that, quote unquote, um, normal kids just see our kids as everyday kids and everyday people. Many special needs children carry blue pumpkin buckets to signal they may not be verbal or may get scared more easily. The Jacksons have created a place where a blue bucket isn't needed. Everyone's treated gently and with kindness. To know that they're loved. To just know that they're welcome. That they are just like any other kid. They, they, they deserve to have their fun. They deserve to just enjoy the time and the holiday. Having a safe space where our kids with disabilities can come and enjoy Halloween in a way that they can't in a normal environment where they're going to run off or people don't understand why they can't say trick or treat. And we're back here live in Martinez, one of the spookier settings. Of course, uh, again, autism advocates are urging folks to keep an eye out for those blue buckets and be mindful and sensitive that every child is different. And the trick-or-treaters are just starting to come out. You can see the candy bucket is ready. I spot a few right down the street. Uh, it's going to be very busy in about an hour from now. Reporting live in Martinez, I'm Jody Hernandez. Back to you guys. Okay.